a footballer. He had to score, and he does. Can he convert? Well, he stuttered a bit, but the goal has been given. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And he scores! And he steps up to take his penalty. So lethal in front of goal. And confidently converted. His turn to try to convert from the spot. And he's beaten the keeper. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. And he steps up to take the shot. Job done from the spot. So much pressure. If he fails to score, they lose. Well, he fired it straight down the middle. Can he keep us cool? And slotted home right into the bottom corner. Excellent penalty. Clinical as always, in front of goal. Can he get the better of the keeper? And it's gone in. And he's taken the low road, beautifully done. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. And the keeper denies them from the spot. A goal here to finish it. And the keeper makes the all-important save. What a big moment. Well, dead center with that penalty. Can he remain calm? And the penalty converted down the middle. Can he convert? In it goes! Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit, too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here.
Argentina, world champions. They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.